This short video demonstrates installing the Driven CRM QuickBooks Connector. The Driven CRM QuickBooks Connector is a piece of software that connects the, your Driven CRM database to your local QuickBooks copy. This connector needs to be installed on any computer on your own local network that is running a full copy of QuickBooks and will communicate through that copy of QuickBooks. By launching the setup program, you're presented with a set of steps that does the initial installation of the program. Just click yes and through the default prompts until you get to the second part of the setup program, which will ask you for your specific user ID and login information that was provided to you in an email that came with your initial welcome package. Plug in your, your proper settings, such as the server that you're connecting to, the database, the port, the SQL ID and password. And when you're done putting those parameters in, press the test connection button. That's going to do an initial connection test to the server, and you should receive success. Now, after your initial connection to the server, the second part is going to be to connect to your, your QuickBooks. What you're going to do is launch QuickBooks and open the desired company file that you want to connect to. You'll need to log in as the admin user. Click the test connection button. And you may receive a pop-up from QuickBooks that asks if it's okay for Driven to talk to QuickBooks. Say yes, even if QuickBooks is not running. And click through the Done dialog boxes. Once you've received confirmation that the connection is established, Driven will do the initial upload to the Driven CRM servers. This is going to upload your initial data, such as your accounts, contacts, item list, sales tax rates, and so forth. No confidential information is uploaded in this process. Nothing such as bank information, etc. Once this finishes, which can take minutes to hours, depending on how much data is in your QuickBooks file, the connector will automatically disconnect and go idle. That's your cue that it's okay to shut QuickBooks down, and you can minimize the connector down to the tray. The Driven CRM QuickBooks connector should remain running at all times. There's an icon on the desktop to launch it. If it is not running at all times, it will batch up until the next time it launches. So if information is not going to QuickBooks, it's because the connector isn't running. Just simply double-click it to launch it and leave it in the system. Tray. 